very good morning to all of you. Uh, this uh, video lecture is on uh, how to uh, read uh, RCs uh, in the CAT exam. Now, let me start with an overview of the CAT paper. The total time that you have uh, in the verbal section, uh, that is uh, 60 minutes, right? So, in 60 minutes, uh, you are supposed to uh, attempt uh, 34 questions, right? And out of those 34 questions, you have 24 questions from the verbal uh, reading comprehension part and uh, another 10 questions from the verbal reasoning part, right? So, uh, if you look in total, approximately the time that you have to solve these uh, 45 questions is 45 minutes, assuming that the rest time goes for the verbal reasoning part, okay? Now, these 24 questions, they come in form of 5 RCs, right? And uh, these 5 RCs might have uh, questions varying from 3 questions per RC to 6 questions per RC. That is the number of questions per RC, right? And if you see the length of a typical CAT RC, uh, typically it's between 250 words to 450 words. Uh, typical length you can expect in between, that is approximately 350 words uh, for a reading comprehension, right? Uh, so, in, uh, on an average, uh, 24 questions, 5 RCs, and uh, which means uh, approximately 5 questions per RC, and uh, 45 minutes for 5 RCs, which means approximately 9 minutes for uh, one reading comprehension. And uh, there is a typical length of approximately 350 words. So, what this implies that uh, you have approximately 9 minutes for per reading comprehension, right? If it's a shorter one with 3 questions, uh, it could be seven to eight minutes. If it's a larger one, maybe 450, 500 words with uh, uh, six questions, uh, then you could go for uh, possibly uh, 10, 11 minutes, but the average comes out as nine minutes. So that is why it's very important that you know where to spend more time and where to spend less time and how to read. Uh, once your mind starts working in a robotic, in an algorithmic fashion, uh, through your marks and through your uh, regular RC practice, then you will be able to uh, actually do well in CAT reading comprehension section. Now, uh, I have taken CAT multiple times and uh, in the verbal section, I have scored up to 99.9 .9 percentile and uh, uh, particularly reading, reading comprehension, the, these 24 questions, that is my forte and uh, quite often I have been able to uh, get almost all correct and uh, even, uh, even all correct uh, when I was a fresher at CAT. So, uh, I, I'll discuss with you one uh, clear uh, psychology which has helped me and my so many students to get scores of 70, 80 plus out of 100 which means percentile of 99 point high uh, in the verbal uh, uh, section. Uh, so let's get started uh, and keep in mind that you have nine minutes on an average to solve a reading comprehension. And that is why we need to know very clearly uh, how to read. All right. Uh, so getting started on how to read. See, so let's say the reading comprehension has uh, uh, four passage, uh, paragraphs. Suppose you will go to uh, the first RC and uh, you have uh, four paragraphs, okay? So this is uh, RC1, right? Now you start reading. When you start reading, after reading one or two lines, you know, at, so you, you just, just uh, stop for a split second and think at the entry, what am I reading about? Okay, so basically this is called identification of subject. So by reading one, two lines, just talk for a minute. So maybe it's an article on pollution in India. So just read two lines and think, okay, what am I reading? We are talking about pollution in India. All right, that is subject identification. Then speed read, selective reading we call it. Don't stop for jargons. Don't try to interpret each and every sentence. Speed read, keeping the subject in mind. That is reading with context. We call it reading with context. When you come to the end of the para one, right? So I'm about para one here. When you come to the end of the para one, at the time of exit, when you finish it, right? Focus, uh, just stop for a second and think about the predicate. What did I read about this subject? So what did I read about the problem of uh, pollution in India, right? So that is called predicate identification. So what do you do? You basically scribble two, three words at the beginning and another two, three words maybe uh, at the end, right? You're not forming sentences. This is called a central idea. A central idea is the answer to the question, what did I read in the paragraph? Alright, it's a main theme or a precise summary. You don't need to form sentences. Just two words after one, two lines and one or two words or three words in the end of the paragraph. So this scribbling habit has to be there. Now, how does this help you? This helps you because by the time you end, exit para one, you have the central idea one with you, right? Got it? 
when you come to para 2 central idea 2 para 3 central idea 3 and para 4 central idea 4 so once by the time you are finishing your rc right you are speed reading right you don't you actually have the main points with you point number 1 second you are better at understanding the overall flow of the passage point number 2 and third uh, when you look at questions you will be able to better link where the answer was and, uh, so the query processing time gets reduced Right. So with all these advantages and of course uh, there are direct questions on central idea, primary purpose, main theme etc or the overall uh, uh, tone etc of the passage. So by capturing the overall flow using the central idea methodology uh, you will be able to uh, attempt your RCs better. Now let me do a recapitulation here. This central idea thing is a skill building. You need to be very precise in identifying what you are doing right now. Okay. So for example if I ask you what is the main theme or the central idea of this video session. Right? Uh, someone will answer it's about cat. Not cool because it's not accurate. About cat can also mean maybe paper strategy for all sections. We are not talking that. Okay. Someone might answer this is about reading comprehension. Again, close but not good enough. Be more specific, as specific as you can. Right? You can be. Now, why, why not reading comprehension? It's not about all everything about reading comprehension. I'm not going to discuss uh, in details. Uh, the different types of questions that come in CAT and the elimination frameworks for each of those questions, right? We are particularly talking about how to read for RC. So in short, if I have to write down what is the central idea of this session, right? What will I write? Uh, this session is about, uh, so I, I don't need to write in details. Maybe about the subject, I will say this is about CAT and then RC. Okay. And then I write like this, uh, this session, what about RC? It's about how to read. See, I'm not forming sentences. I'm just writing in short, but trying to be as precise or specific as possible. You get the point? So the central idea or the main theme of this session is, it's about CAT RCs and how to read, particularly in the CAT RCs. So you have to be as precise as possible, right? In general, uh, the, let, let me again uh, take you through the whole process. So in CAT RC, what happens? You start reading a comprehension. First paragraph you enter, after two lines you think, all right, uh, what exactly am I reading about? You write a couple of words. You, now you keep the context in mind, you read fast, 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 you come to the end of the paragraph, you stop for a second and think, what did I exactly read about the subject? And you write a couple of words there. That is central idea one. By doing this with specificity and precision in mind, doing this for every paragraph, by the time you end the passage, you have a very clear understanding of what the main points the author was trying to tell, right? And what was the flow and tone of the entire passage? Right? Now when you start attempting the questions, you will be well to do in answering most of the questions. Right? So this is something which is very very important and does not just get, uh, uh, this, it's not something which is just important for RCs, it's also very important for para completion and all one out exercises. Right? Identification of core is the key to proper uh, uh, comprehension, uh, keeping in mind the speed. Right? Because it appears paradoxical to many students that how do I uh, read fast and be good in comprehension? Right, but you know it's 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 wrong. Actually, speed doesn't affect comprehension. Comprehension affects speed. It's scientifically proven that people who understand better they read fast, and it's very logical, right? Because if you are familiar with a kind of writer, you will be able to uh, read it uh, better, smoother, and faster, right? And also you'll be able to uh, interpret and uh, answer the questions uh, in a better way, right? So this is the general strategy on how to read for uh, CAT RCs. Remember, uh, whenever you do your daily CAT relevant reading practice, uh, use this uh, entry exit central idea methodology, right? Every time you are doing it, because this is something I've seen through my experience with thousands of students till now. If somebody is following it just in RCs, they, they feel that it takes time and it, uh, they, they don't have that much time. But if someone is doing it on a daily basis in the regular reading, then this methodology works and it really works well. All right. Uh, so this was uh, an understanding of exactly how you should plan to read uh, CAT RCs, right? Because you have to read a typical RC in maybe around two, two and a half minutes. And once you are done reading, then you go to the questions, read a question, try to understand the context of the question, eliminate options, right? And if required, go to the passage and check whether the option is, if you're getting confused among two options, and then you solve. Right. So the more time, obviously, where does the marks lie? Marks lies in the questions, right? And the options, not in the passage. You know? I've seen many students having that habit when they start that they read the passage so slow, right? Trying to understand everything, right? That so they try thinking how, why. Don't think about how and why. Think about what. What is given? What is given? What is given? What is given? And finish the passage, right? If you spend too much time on the passage, you will have very less time on the questions. 
and then your accuracy will get hurt. I, I have personally seen many students uh, who have that tendency, they spend four to five minutes on reading the comprehension and then spend and just read the question and start marking fast because they don't have time. Right? All students who are able to just attend maybe two or three RCs out of the five. So you don't have to belong to that category. Right? So the method is read the passage fast, writing down the central ideas using the entry exit central idea methodology. Right? Once you're done with it, in two to two and a half minutes, go to the questions, read the question, eliminate options, and then proceed. This is the overall psychology. It's easier said than done. You need to practice this kind of a thinking in every RC you solve, in every day reading that you do. If you keep these things mind, in mind, uh, you will be able to do good in CAT. All right? Now, uh, I will be touching some more aspects in this uh, video. Uh, first thing, uh, okay, fine. So this is how we need to read. On a daily basis, how can you practice and where to practice from? So, uh, see, CAT articles, uh, they can be broadly classified into two types. Uh, the first one would be contemporary reading and the second one would be the old school write-ups. Okay. Uh, so, I'll classify these uh, into uh, these two segments and I'll give you seven topics in each so that you can actually create a two-week calendar of daily reading and you can repeat it till CAT in the way that I mentioned just before. Okay. So, I'm doing that here. Uh, the first one is the contemporary reading. Okay. In the contemporary reading section, the first thing which I suggest, the first topic is science. The second topic is fiction. All right. The third topic is technology. So science, fiction, technology. Right. Okay. So these are daily articles. So let's say you start today. Day one, you read science. Day two, you read an article on fiction. Day three, you read an article on technology. Day four, you read an article on economics. Now, some of these articles can be related to old times, but it's 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 fine, right? We consider these contemporary because uh, these days articles come on Tesla, articles come on uh, um, Elon Musk, uh, Google, uh, etc., etc., right? Uh, fifth, uh, you you read about uh, modern history, right? Which by which I mean uh, since World War and colonial rule, something around 1850, uh, 1900, and uh, to the current date, okay? Uh, modern history is there. Then you have environment environment, uh, biodegradation, uh, carbon dating, animal preservation. These things are very, very important topics these days. Right. And the last one is uh, medicinal research. Anything related to research on Corona, on swine flu, on uh, nanotechnology, on cancer research. Right. So these uh, topics are very important in contemporary reading. So try reading one on each. And every time you read, follow the central idea pedagogy. Okay. Now I'll come to where to read from uh, suggestions later. Okay, now coming to the next part, these were contemporary articles. The next part of CAT, the next type of RC. So you expect two to three articles from this genre. Another two to three articles, because they are total five, they come from the, uh, what I mentioned, the, the old school write-ups. Okay, uh, so the old school write-ups, again, I'll give you a schedule for seven days. Day number one, read philosophy. Okay, day number two, read psychology read psychology all right day number three read sociology read topics on sociology right it's it's all about building familiarity with cat you know uh, for example if you read today an article on capitalism tomorrow on communism third day on imperialism fourth day on marxism right and in the exam there comes an article on fascism so if you have read four the fifth one would be easier for you to understand interpret you'll be reading it faster and better right so the key is to read the kind of articles which come in cat okay so the next uh coming to the next one the fourth one would be uh art all right uh fifth one uh i'm mentioning here culture and uh, one very related to it uh culture is like different tribes and societies which have uh, existed next one is civilizations uh, art, art articles or uh, write-ups on uh, different architectures and uh, civilizations like Harappan Valley Civilization, yeah, Harappan Civilization, Indus Valley Civilization, etc. And the last one, uh, literature, right? Literature and art can be read across eras, what happened in the Renaissance era, what happened in the different, uh, uh, comparing painters from one era to the other, right? Similarly in culture, comparing architecture from one uh, era to the other, one uh, zone to the other, the region compared with North Indian, etc. Right? So, these seven again. So now you see, uh, you have to set up a time for yourself. If you think you are very good and uh, fine with English, maybe 30 minutes a day would do. If you think that you know you need to put in extra efforts because words will, will make will be difficult for you, 
uh, you need to do contextual reading, right? Means if you don't know the meaning of a word, you need to check the dictionary. First guess the meaning and then check the dictionary, right? Yeah. Remember, guess the meaning, then guess the meaning in the context of the sentence, then check the dictionary. So you need to put in extra time, right? So the general daily reading time right now in your preparation should be somewhere close to 30 minutes to uh, possibly 90 minutes. That is the kind of range which you should keep for yourself, right? Uh, so this, uh, if you follow it in this uh, particular fashion, uh, you will be able to uh, build expertise into the kind of reading that is required for CAT, not just RCs, for BR as well, and in general for the entire paper, because, you know, uh, reading speed is something which impacts all your problem sums in maths and logical reasoning sets as well. So the more you read, the better you read, uh, keeping in the core in mind, making short notes, basically, while you read. Uh, but remember, four to eight words for a paragraph, not more than that, otherwise you'll consume time. Uh, the more you fo follow it this way, uh, the better you get for CAT every day, right? Many students have a tendency of spending too much time on solving and ignoring reading. Uh, don't do that. Okay. Uh, all right. So coming to uh, the last uh, part of this uh, video lecture, uh, I'll also touch a bit on uh, uh, where to read from. All right. Uh, so the first uh, point which I would suggest is, yes, you should read uh, your newspaper editorials, may maybe the Hindu or uh, uh, the Economic Times. Right? Because you will get contemporary topics like uh, finance, economics, or you might get so uh, society, politics, etc. as well. Right? So, yes, uh, newspaper editorial is something which you can follow. Apart from that, uh, you can follow very good sites like uh, uh, The Guardian. The Guardian, uh, the Guardian is, uh, if you uh, type it on Google, right? Uh, 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 Guardian, and you give a blank space and write philosophy, you will get a Guardian page for philosophy, where you can go to the uh, editorials and uh, try reading them all right so let, let, let me just uh, show you uh, uh, one uh, such uh, page uh, so that uh, you understand what I'm saying so I, I write here uh, on this page the Guardian right and uh, I write philosophy got it so uh, a page comes here philosophy the Guardian I go to this page and I click on opinion and I get so many articles, right? Right. So it's about Brexit, the coronavirus. Uh, see something interesting, right? You can read it right now. On the right side, the Chernobyl and then coronavirus somehow linked. Oh my God, that sounds exciting and interesting. So there are so many things to read, right? And so you can type philosophy, psychology, sociology, etc. on the Guardian and directly read. Got it? Uh, another important part, the next one I would suggest is uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is something uh, which... Uh, People don't uh, usually find, a, find it a credible source. But then for cat reading, it's really good. Why? Because you can actually move from one blue link to the other and just keep reading. It's an infinite source of reading. All right. Let me show you this. Uh, let, let me write uh, philosophy Wikipedia. So when I write philosophy Wikipedia on Google, I get a page. I click on it. All right. So during my first first cycle, on, uh, uh, this two-week cycle of reading, I come to the first day and I read the homepage on philosophy, right? I read what philosophy is, I read about Indian philosophy, about Middle Eastern philosophy, so regional, region-wise, I read about Jain, Buddhist, so, uh, religion-wise, right? I, I read about different types of philosophies, right? And then the categories of philosophies, right? So much to read. Now see the number of blue links. There are infinite number of blue links on a wiki article. So you can actually traverse from one to the other. So day number two, next time when I go to this page, I, I feel that, yes, epistemology, right? This sounds cat like So I click on epistemology, and now I read epistemology in, in details. Got it, right? The third day, I find this internalism and externalism interesting. And I go to it and read it completely. So you know, uh, what, what are we doing here? What we are doing here, what we are doing here is building interest, building familiarity with the kind of articles that appear for, appear in CAT, right? Understand, familiarity is the key. If you give me, uh, see, uh, if you give me a, uh, an article on something which I'm familiar with, let's say, for example, I love uh, uh, watching cricket news. I follow cricket, Buzz Crick Info sites. So if you tell me that I have to go through a one-page article and understand it, I might, I will be sure that I might be able to do it in two to three minutes, right? But if you tell me that there is a new uh, antithesis to Darwin's theory of evolution and uh, I need to go through it and understand it in uh, three to four minutes, I'll not be sure because if I'm not a regular reader on such topics, because I would feel that I'm not even sure whether I'll understand it or not because I don't know the terms used there. I don't know the current research, right? So same student, when gets different kinds of articles, exhibits different level of understanding, comprehension and speed. Right? So you need to be that student who is totally prepared for CAT. Right? Follow this two-week calendar. Follow these sites that I have mentioned. 
right i will add one more to it because this contemporary cat articles also come from this site that is aeon.co uh, follow these four leads right and you can also do a bit of non fiction novels if you want okay but more i would suggest these four lead, uh, the guardian wikipedia and aeon that they build volume of reading so you should be doing it novel uh, strictly uh, uh, not non indian uh, uh, fiction or uh, uh, good uh, motivational or uh, etc cat relevant type of uh, uh novels i would suggest uh now uh, understand uh, if you follow these uh, instructions uh, this you, you follow a calendar like this of 14 days and you read the way i have told you you will see uh, that you have miles to go before you uh, astonish yourself uh, in the cat results verbal is one section i believe you can score full uh, complete marks because everything is present there is just you need to read and you need to apply logic right with speed so follow these instructions this video will really help you a lot Uh, if you follow each step very carefully and uh, verbatim all the very best thank you